Hello friends and family, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to do a fun little review on some Halloween products. I've been really getting ready for the spooky season. My kids have been helping me go through and decorate the house and we've been having fun playing with all of our old costumes. And um, the other day when I went to run some errands, I came across the Milani Halloween collection that they have out. And these little palettes, they're so cute. And I just decided, okay, I'm going to go ahead and try them. Um, usually I don't pick up a lot of the Halloween-y um, type makeup because in the past I've noticed that it's kind of poor quality that since it's a seasonal thing and kind of like a one night for you know for most people it's just like a one-time use or a gimmick and I just don't feel like they put a lot of good like quality into those products but these are really cute and I have used um you know a few Milani products in the past they're one of my favorite drugstore brands and I have reviewed this palette before this is the Gilded Jade palette uh from Milani and it is a very well used, loved palette. And I love this palette. It's one of my go to's. I take it when traveling. It's nice and compact. It has a nice, not even nice, one of my favorite highlighters in here. And um, yeah, I just decided why not? I'm going to give these little palettes a try. And hopefully, they give me kind of like the same quality in these little palettes as they do in the Gilded. I think it's the Gilded Jade, because Jade Green, right? <laughs> uh, so the first one I'm going to go ahead and open up for you, and these did have plastic protectors on them, is this one. This is the one with the peacock on it. Um, it says in the back, in es Enchanted Escape, but then on the inside, on the really cute mirror, it says In Full Bloom. So I'm not 100% sure... Um, what the palette is named it's one of those but it's the rainbow one and you see um like pretty much it's 50 50 half our matte half our shimmers and yeah let's do a couple swatches like of course the white let's test it out definitely see a lot of fallout but it shows up it's all right and then we have the second palette on the back it says a haunted hallow and then on the inside caught in my web and it has a cute little spider web in the mirror and here are the colors for this eyeshadow palette i like this i think for uh halloween especially it's definitely it's got that like kind of pop of color but mostly like deep darks and so i have the rainbow on this side <laughs> messy already but uh i'm gonna go ahead and swatch the dark Ugh. so there are the colors for that i'm gonna call that one the spider palette all right so now we have both our palettes swatched you know i don't think so bad are they messy? Yes, they're very messy, but they're pigmented, so I am pretty impressed so far. Now is really, now we get to test out like how they go on the eyes and see what kind of look that we could get with them. Because I got like a couple things from the collection, right? Yeah, but I did buy a few other things from the collection. So here we have these lashes called the haunting i couldn't help myself they have like the purple tint and i love this kind of like spaced out uh, long lashes so i thought that, that would be fun and i got these they're called the escape and they're kind of like you know peacocky whimsical and they have blue so i really like these ones too i thought that they were pretty fun so i got lashes to try out for you all right, so here I am. I am just putting a little bit of white concealer on my eyelids. Um, this is something that I would do if I were going to do a very colorful look anyhow. So. <laughs>
I'm back and I have my lashes on. Very pretty. Yep. Milani, thank you very much for not letting me down. I thought that these would be pretty fun and they are and they're nice and pigmented and the lashes are really, really fun. Like these have a couple different colors. Swoopies over here. They're really cute. Um, yeah, so far, no complaints. Uh, let's see. I do still have the lippies to try. So let's go ahead and try this purple lip. So I don't usually do a lot of like actual tube lipsticks anymore, but let's try it out. Very, very pigmented. It's like really smooth, like. really smooth like was nice and curvy and pointy but it's like oily already breaking down a little bit but um very fun vibrant color i haven't got any eye teeth yet so that's nice yeah really nice the um, you can feel the glitter it's like a little bit chunky on the lip but not too bad it's not really cutting me up or anything like that it's pretty comfy it does feel um like i said kind of like greasy but really pretty so i don't know like how long this would last because like i said it's a very greasy feeling but i mean for photos or anything like that like this is a really really pretty lip and this one is in the shade make believe by milani all right so so whack this off and try out our black liquid lip with that glitter you get like some exfoliation over here when you get that off so, all right now we have our black lip here's a little applicator Ooh, it smells like, like a strong vanilla, almost smells like candy corn, like frosting, it smells really good. So here's a little up close look of the results. I enjoyed that. I hope that you guys enjoyed my little review. Um, I will be sure to add in all the little price points um, to these palettes and uh, the lippies and the liner, all that good stuff. I'll make sure to add it in the description below. Um, yeah, if you guys have any comments, questions, let me know. I definitely have to trim these lashes down like they're super long, but other than that, they're pretty fine. Like, I really like this one. It just gives a little hint of purple. It even looks good with the blue. So, yeah, quite impressed. Um, definitely, I would suggest if you were going for something more Halloween, obviously, this guy here, the spider webs, that's going to be your girl because that's going to all the deep tones. This is just a little lacking for that. This is definitely just like a solid rainbow. Um, like if you're going as a butterfly or something like that, maybe this would be a good palette for you for Halloween. But um, for sure, if you're trying to go like a little more smoky or creepy or spooky, 
this girl here. But they were both really fun. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed my review. I have no regrets. These are really cute little fun palettes and I will definitely get more use out of them. I do, you know, play around with a lot of color and definitely some of those deep tones will go well together. Like, because these are almost like sister palettes too because we have purples, pinks, and a blue in there. And those mattes in this these mats are really excellent. I did really enjoy working with them. So definitely you could see this as a whole unit. These two do kind of complement each other if you want to mix and match. Uh, really fun. Um, yeah, not, uh, <laughs> not bad for a drugstore, right? Thank you, Milani, and I hope that you all enjoyed my video. Bye, until the next one.